It was of May, the first report with estimates for the new crops, and it brought a bullish picture for corn, while soybean stocks are seen higher in the next crop. Come with me to another Hedgepoint update to find out the details of the report. Hi, my name is Aleph, and I'm a grains and oil seeds analyst here at Hedgepoint. This month's WASD is one of the most relevant agriculture reports of the year, as it brings the first estimates for the 22-23 season figures. Today, we'll be talking about the report's highlights for soybeans and corn. For soybeans, the estimates points to a record crop of 126.3 million tons for the US with the combination of a slightly higher yields and a record planted area that was already confirmed on the prospective plantings report by the USDA. Even with the expected increase in exports and crushing for the next season, the US said to have the loosest ending stocks since the heights generated by the trade war, when China stopped buying US soybeans. Additionally, the USDA estimates that the soybean production in key South American producers, namely Argentina, Brazil and Paraguay, should increase by 38.8 million tons, as the countries recover for this year, from this year's failure due to dry and hot weather. With that, world leading stocks in 22-23 shall be 11.5% higher than the current carryover. Moving to corn, the grain was responsible for the greatest surprise of the report. A smaller planted acreage was already expected, given March's prospective planting report. Yields in May are known to be forecasted using a weather-adjusted historical trend. For this reason, market was expecting a yield for the 22-23 crop a bit below, but still close to what was reported on USDA's Agricultural Outlook Forum in February, even though the delays in planting are starting to wait on the outlook. However, the weather-adjusted part of the yield model really penalized the late plantings and weather ahead, leading to lower yields. The USDA brought an estimate of 177 bushels per acre versus 181 bushels per acre reported in February. Another relevant point to highlight on May's WASD is the estimates for the Ukrainian 22-23 corn crop that is suffering tremendously with the conflict in Ukrainian soil. The agency estimates that corn production will fall by 54% on 22-23 to 19.5 million tons and exports by 61% from 23 to 9 million tons. With a smaller output from Ukraine and US, the world corn production in 22-23 is expected to fall by 34.9 million tons. In summary, the scenario is of a greater supply of soybeans in the next crop, although still pending the average yields to be confirmed. While corn stocks should remain tight, but we got to keep both eyes on the development of the US crops and on the total impact of the war in Ukrainian corn. To keep up to date with these developments, follow us on YouTube, LinkedIn, and hit the like button if you liked this update. Thanks for watching, and see you soon on another Hedgepoint Market Update.